Bye bye, hotel room, which you've been okay to me. And that's it, we're gonna call it a day. I'm gonna get to head out early and I'm gonna Grand Prairie, I can chill, I can do my thing. And right now, I'm at home at like five o'clock, which is like super early when you uh, work at these jobs. And with that, I can actually pack and organize and book something and call Stuky and figure out this BAM trip. So I feel like so relieved, but I just still gotta make sure that I focus, like super focus. So that I can actually get things done. I've been given a gift and I'm very thankful for that, to have the opportunity, to have so much time. Like time is so important and I'm always stressing out inside my head that I don't have enough time. So now I got enough time, but I still gotta stay focused so that I get enough so done. So we're getting organized. This is gonna be the camping gear, so we're getting all that set up. So that when I land in Calgary, I just take my backpack out of this bag, I throw it on, sit back, and I go. So trying to find that internal happiness. And also trying to find my personality, like this guy here I see in the mirror is I'm not looking at you exactly, but so I can do this fully. But then I just look creepy, but this person I see in the mirror that I'm looking at right now is, I don't know. You know, I think I know, but I don't, and then I work and I lose myself. And I'm gonna go on this crazy hike backpacking thing and I'm gonna be in Banff, I'm gonna be in Jasper. I'm gonna be living off my back, which I love so much, but the society stuff, this turbine job, people, and like, the whole reason we're here right is to relate to people that's how we get places that's how we do things we relate to people and by relating to people we make friends we have cool experiences we tell stories and we enjoy ourselves so when I go to work I don't relate to anybody and I don't understand it maybe it's just like this mentality I put on when I go to work but the only time I'm with people that I really enjoy is when I'm rock climbing and when I'm skydiving. Bedtime's 8.30 plus 2. So that means 10.30. This cat's gotta go to bed. It's looking pretty gloomy over there. So we have been driving a lot and talking a lot and that's because I drive a lot and I want to talk to you guys. We made it. Let's go check in. Huh. Be Jordan, Thomas Hunter. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Quick elevator this. It's 4.30. Much lights at 5.30. Really gotta hurry up, check out, drive there. It's like 15 minutes. Check in, drop off the rental track. Catch a flight. Hey. Hopefully we make it. How are you? I made it on the plane just barely. I'm just hoping my check bags made it. Because I was way right? too close. But we made it. And that's the Brewster bus, Jewin. <laughs> Brewing Jewin. That's the Brewster bus, which I'm catching right now. We made it to Calgary, we're busting. We're gonna be in band. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. I am in Banff right now. I have no idea where I am exactly, besides the fact that I'm in Banff. But I'm here, it's absolutely gorgeous. And I gotta find my way to the visitor center maybe? I have no idea, but I got everything with me. And that's cool, <laughs> so let's figure some stuff out. Some of my friends have told me that, out of all the people they knew, that I would enjoy the mountains the most. Well, they were right. <laughs> I knew I'd get here one day, and I'm very fortunate to be able to get here with work, and pretty much a free trip here, but besides that, waking up to the mountains is incredible, because you can't understand how tall they are. It's ridiculous, but they're here, and I'm here, and even though it's raining and dark, and I can't even see the peak of the mountains, I 
am ecstatic to be here to check out the mountains, to go camp, and to be surrounded by Mother Nature. There's my buddy Stuky in the red car. So Stuky's here, he finally made it. I had these. And we're gonna go camping in the rain, but I'm gonna scare the crap out of him right now. <laughs> Stuk! <laughs> What's up? I don't think I'll fit in here. No, no it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, cool. <laughs> oh, I got a new apartment. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I got it like six times. Wow, this is wild. Winter and June. Uh, oh, that's what it is, winter and June. I mean, I guess this is better than rain, kind of. I guess we'll just get like slowly wet, but. If it was rain, we'd just be like instantly wet. But that means it's colder. Yes. <laughs> I did bring a too, so I'm definitely gonna put my toque on. Yeah, me too. That's crazy. I don't even think we're gonna need bug spray. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so either, because it's freaking, it's freaking snowing on June 10th right now. It's ridiculous. We're gonna freeze, but we're gonna survive. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> it was so cold last night. We got poured on, we got snowed on. Couldn't feel my feet. <laughs> well, we made it through the night. Stuky. Packed up his gear already. I'm staying another night. And he's actually filtering water for us right now, which is awesome. So let's go see how he's doing. Because I know for sure I can't feel my feet. <laughs> but, holy man. All right, bye, Stuke. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for having me. Safe travels.